Hey guys and gals, Malcolm 1974 back at you with another episode. Well, actually, this isn't a repeat episode. This is another testing of 1.04. And today we're going to test the SSTO, see how much they have changed since when I did my how to get to orbit with SSTOs in 1.0. I can tell you it's not much different, but uh, there are some changes made in here. I am using the X-10 passenger vessel. Uh, we still have uh, the Dragonfly, which is a downloadable. Uh, the only thing I have changed on these is, number one, we can't have these cells so close anymore because they will burn up with what we are going to try to do and how we're going to do it. So I'm going to put them back here. Or hopefully they are just a tad more protected just like that should help them out a little bit and what I'm gonna do is I am going to add did I already add them that's the question I thought I already tested this one this might be uh, this might be able to show us what we've done okay so Let's add a few radiator panels, not the big ones, yeah, the small ones. I'm going to put one set there, and I think I'm going to put one set kind of like here. Radiator panels are going to help us with what we're going to be doing here. A little bit different than what I have used in uh, the, how, the other how-to video. So I think we should be all set. We got all our action groups set, the whiplash, uh, the reliant, and the intake. All right, so I just I just needed to know what those were. Okay, and crew wise. So this is the X10 passenger. It has a passenger crew. It's made to get in Kerbal tourist into uh, orbit or whatever you need to do suborbital. Uh, I think I released this the other version or this might be completely new to you guys but I figured I'd try the big vessel first see how we do this I've already I've already played with it a little bit on a nice early morning in Kerbal Space Program so we'll get the whiplashes uh, kicked up here and going I don't know why that keeps showing up uh, contract wise let me get this we're gonna need this so one thing I noticed right off the back is that you want to get your vessel uh, pretty much going as fast as you possibly can off right off the bat. This thing does not have a whole lot of lift. I'm going to have to wait until they get off the... Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. So let's see how fast we can get this thing going. I'm just going to get us some speed going. This thing is, oh, because I, I don't have the engines all the way up. That would probably have done it. So here we go. Uh, another thing I have noticed is that they've completely reduced the thrust on these. And so your ISPs are a little bit lower. And uh, it takes a little bit longer to get up to speed. So that is why I'm right now getting up to speed now. I want to get some, everybody has assured me that the mock effects are not an issue which they really aren't but you still I still think you gotta be careful because especially with an SSTO uh, if you get too much mock effects they could break off your wings and stuff like that so what I'm just doing right now is I'm just getting up to speed and I mean that the speed is the name of the game with an SSTO the faster you get this thing going the better off you will be I'm gonna drop this a little bit this thing is a little bit uh, tweaky when you're trying to change your altitudes or you're trying to change uh, your pitch uh, so <laughs> if if I do down let you guys download this you just got to be careful with uh, how you're moving you see my uh, my speed is already up to uh, 600 which is a lot better than what we had before now I'm starting to get the heat effects this is where you got to be a little bit careful I have I have caused some issues here before Look at my uh, Apple Apps' height, that's perfect. And we're just kind of grabbing. I'm just going to keep it right here. I am not even going to mess with it. 
just gonna let it go. I'm gonna look for, this is why I moved the, uh, the solar panels down because they usually burn up when they're up here. And I did add some radiators to help with some of the heat issues. If you look at my speed, I have pretty much gotten this thing up to uh, 1100. Let me see if I can kind of put this down a little bit. See if we can get a little bit quicker. We should be losing the engine soon. Yep, all right. So... I shut the engines down, I turned on the rockets. Now it's about getting the speed. Just getting the speed that we need to get to orbit. And we're looking for that magic number of 2200. Now I'm watching my liquid fuel and my oxidizer. Hopefully this will get us there. So we noticed that I did a lot of things different. I didn't worry about the mock effects this time. Uh, obviously nothing happened. You notice nothing happened. Nothing's happening with my burning up. I don't know if the radiators are helping or not. But I wasn't going to take a chance. Uh, we're at 1,500. And look how much fuel I got. I do. I, I could still do some tweaking. So uh, the old version has way too much oxidizer in it. Because you use a lot more liquid fuel now with the regular engines to get these up to speed. So I still have a little bit of oxidizer I can get rid of to help get me up to where I need to get. Trying to get this to a good point. I'm already up at to 2100. I'm looking at my apoapsis. Trying to keep everything at a, dis a reasonable uh, area. We're at 71, 75. There we go. That should do us good. Now, if you notice, I really didn't get too much heating effects on here. Again, hopefully the radiators helped out with that aspect of it. There we go. Yeah, so at this point I'm I'm pretty happy with how the SSTOs work in 1.4. It seems to me it's a lot easier to get into space now and I'm sure with a lot of tweaking and uh, other adjustments you can get a SSTO into space with plenty of fuel to do what you need. I mean, I'm going to have plenty of fuel here with this, but it's not going to be much more than um, getting to uh, a low Kerbin orbit. So I'm just going to set up, uh, setting up my waypoints here and getting all those done. There we go. And we'll just kind of wait here for this to do, do some uh, time acceleration in a second. Let me just line these up. There we go. And that looks good. So, I'm just going to have to wait until we get there. We, uh, let's get there and we'll get done. Alright, so let's just get up here and get our thing done. Looks like it'll only be 12 seconds of a burn, hopefully to get us into orbit and I'll have quite a few quite a quite a bit of liquid fuel left still not enough to do much of anything other than a low curve in orbit but hell I really haven't worked on getting these any farther all right there we go and we'll just go like that And there we go. We're in orbit and we have 439 liquid fuel left and 645 oxidized. So obviously I needed to do a few more tweaks on how much oxidizer I do have. I'll drop it down just a little bit more because that, ox that extra oxidizer is never going to be used and it's causing us weight issues. So that would help to get that out. And there you go. Get an SSTO to orbit. Now landing is pretty much the same guys it's not going to change much the re-entry heat as long as you uh, uh, don't get too crazy on your angle of going into a landing you should be all set so I'm just going to cut this episode now for hopefully we have a nice short one and I'll see you guys later so still can get an SSTO to orbit you just have to tweak 
how much oxidizer you have. You'll have to lower it a little bit. You use much, much more uh, liquid fuel in your uh, ramjets and other uh, types of jet engines. So that's something to keep in uh, keep an eye on. But you also, you know, you can you can combat that by getting your speed up early and getting into orbit that way. So see you guys later. Maku out of here.